Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here on the west side of Ayutthaya. We're just off the island and we're right here on the Chao Praia River. And we're going to take a look at what Taka Rong, I think is what you uh, pronounce it as. It's the temple of the landing of the crying crow, I think is the literal translation. It used to be two temples over here and they merged into one. It was like the temple of the landing and the temple of the crying crow and they merged into one temple. Anyway, this goes back to, I think around like the King Narai day in the mid 1600s. And what is here is a floating market and that's the main thing we'll look at. And then we'll look at the ordination hall that's kind of back and it's covered and uh, we'll see what we see. This is the old Chao Praia River right here, the old path of it. The Labrie River changed course. The Chao Praia River is, I think, in still pretty much the same location. Now, this temple over here was mentioned twice in the Royal Chronicles. One, once during the War of the White Elephant, the first war where the Burmese came and uh, conquered the city. That was in the 1500s. And then uh, they also mention it in the fall of Ayutthaya in 1767. They say that the Burmese set up stockades over here and there was a counterattack by the Thai forces and uh, they were unsuccessful because the city fell. But this right here is the first little part of the floating market and there's little restaurants and stuff and then they have some more vendors up here on the second level and uh, they're just the normal Thai food that you see. This is just off the island. It's pretty easy to get to. There's another uh, floating market on the other side of the city, the east side, and they actually charge foreigners, I think, like 100 baht to get in. So this one here is free. So here we got some of the little noodles, the little pork noodles, and then she's got the kanombung, and she makes them up right here. Looks like it's uh, 30 baht for one of the little containers. And you see they do have the little boats here, but they're just kind of permanently docked. They're not really uh, they don't paddle up here and uh, sell their wares like some of the floating markets. And then they have the tables here. It's a nice little floating market. The temple itself is basically just a carnival. It's uh, a cool old Ayutthaya style building, but the whole area around it is just insane. And she's got some of the little snacks here, some of the little vegetables, the deep fried vegetables. And then she has some of the little eggs also. It looks like she puts the vegetable batter around the outside. You can see that batter on it. And then it has the little quail eggs on the inside. So it looks like one container that you can get for 30 baht. And then a guy over here has got some of the noodles and stuff. And there's plenty of places to sit. And then the Thais will come here and feed the fish and kind of make a day out of it. And she's got some of the little drinks and stuff here. So 20 to 30 baht, depending on what you want. And then the little cakes and the pork knuckles. That looks like it's starting to rain. The, the plastic is coming out. And the main part of Ayutthaya is over that away. You can see the houses built up on stilts and stuff along the bank of the river. He's covering up his motor on his long tow. And the Chao Praia is quite high. This eventually winds its way down to Bangkok and then out into the Gulf. And the Thais love to come over here and feed the fish. So they can actually just buy the food out of these machines or they can buy these like uh, Cheeto looking things and they'll feed those to the fish. Yeah, you can see all these fish here. Some big old suckers. These are those Mekong catfish. And the Thais come and feed them and make merit that away. And you don't see people fishing. It's bad luck to come over here and fish near the temple. You have to be a certain distance away from it. And then these are those little Cheeto things that they feed them, and then they got the bread. Now you can take a, f a boat tour from this floating market, and it looks like this is it right here. You can get on the big boat and go around the island. I've never done it from here. I've done the boat tours, and I really like it, but I've never done it from this floating market. Oh, it looks like she's selling the Nam Tok Mu, the pork noodle soup. And you can get the pig skin and stuff right here for an extra 10 baht. So you can see some of her little dishes. He's calling them these the Chinese style fried noodles. So they're like 20 baht for that. And it's in the banana leaf, which is kind of cool. And then you can get some of that shredded pork 
You can get it with the sticky rice here for 30 baht. That looks actually pretty nice. And then you can buy these here for like 100 baht for the plastic containers and take them home. She's just selling it right out of the front of her little boat here. And then they got some little desserts, some stuff for the kids. So you can see she's making that up. Has the, looks like some squid, has some shrimp, some other stuff. And you can just smell that green chili coming out of that. And that right there is, uh, I think, 100 baht. And you can see there's not a super heavy crowd. Enough to have all the restaurants and stuff open, but not just shoulder to shoulder. You can see they got their little shops up here on land. And the little pier. Yeah, I like places like this. It's kind of fun. She's selling some of the silk shirts and stuff like that. Sorry, cop. And then you got some of the, the little noodles. Yeah, these right here are kind of fishy, lemony taste. Then they got the rice snacks, and then they pour like the the sugar on the top of them. I kind of like those, but I don't care for these at all. And we got some mangoes, some other stuff. Over here looks like some fish. You can really smell it. So 100 baht for one of these big bags of it. I prefer to get like the pork skin, like these right here. And that's what she's got. And then she's got some of the tamarind. Oh, the tamarind, I stay away from it. And then this, some of the lotions and oils and stuff. And then selling some bags and some more of the snacks. And various things. And she's got some little kid shoes, the little rubber ducks. And then, oh, those are kind of some nice t-shirts. Nice little souvenir. There she is with her dog. And another dog just hanging out here in the middle. It's so tight to see dogs just laying right in the middle of everything. And then she's got some of the, what is this, the... It doesn't, it's not the, oh, it's a, like a sausage or the innards. I thought it was the Kanon Boong, but, or a Kanon Bobbin, but it's not. And then she's got some of the Goi Tat and some of the other little snacks. Yeah, this right here, this is the Goi Young. It's the grilled bananas. So she's grilling them right there. You can see the charcoal. And then what they do is they smash them down. They have like a little vice and then they get like a syrupy thing. So you can get one of those little sticks of the bananas for 10 baht and then here's some of the little popsicles for the kids and some more of the desserts yeah there's the normal variety of stuff like that that you normally see at a market and it's in a pretty good location to get over here is pretty easy if you had a tuk tuk you hired it out and you're exploring the city you could just tell them you wanted to come over here to this tak ka rong floating market they'd bring you over here yeah, some more of the little snacks wrapped up in the banana leaves. These are always nice with the coconut. You can see the shredded coconut in that also. And then I'll have like the red bean. Yeah, these are always nice. Not sure how much these are. They don't have a price on them. And some of the, they're calling it the red sticky rice, the toffee. Or the caramel as the Thais call it. So there's the durian caramel and the fresh coconut. Yeah, you'll see these guys making this and it's, they put it in a big pot and they'll be over there stirring it, it's such a hot job. And then some of the knives and other stuff. And it looks like they have a stage for some performances. And a few more of the vendors over here. And then we got some roti saimai, the specialty here in Ayutthaya. You can see how she makes it. Yeah, you see the roti saimai everywhere. It's like the Thai version of cotton candy. So she just makes the little tortillas like that. And then you get this like sugar floss stuff here from the sugar cane. And then you put it inside of these little tortillas and you roll it up like a little burrito and you eat it. The Thais just absolutely love it. So a little bag here for 50 baht and the small bags for 35. Okay, so we've seen most of everything that they have here. Let's go up over to that old Ayutthaya style temple building. I'll show you this temple complex. This is an absolutely crazy temple. I don't really like the temple itself. I like the old temple building, but I don't like how they've made it into kind of a, a carnival. It's just basically a place for like, I don't know, they're really pushing like donations for this, that. And then they have all these small little buildings with other deities that aren't like Buddhist. They just have 
kind of a mix of everything. This used to be like, not too long ago, it was just open so you could actually see the temple building, but now everything is covered and they have just buildings everywhere and it's just absolutely crazy. But this is the old building here. And you can see the, the gate and you can't hardly even see these chetties and stuff because there's so many buildings covering everything. Now, I told you that this temple was mentioned twice in the Royal Chronicles. The bell tower itself is what was built under the reign of King Narai. That's what they think. You can see some of the old chetties out here. Some pretty cool styling. And this one over here is really nice. It's outside of the awning. And then back in here is all the, I just look at this, this is places here, all these are for donations. Donation, donation, donation. They have like this here, give us a donation. The duck, put a donation in. I don't mind them like wanting donations. That's the purpose of like people to come here to keep the temple going. But this is just like over the top. And then they have other little buildings up in here with different things. Selling the amulets here, lottery tickets, and then more of the, the buildings. Yeah, it doesn't have a feel of like being at a temple. It just has a feel of being at a, at a carnival. And you can buy the flowers and stuff to, to go in. So we'll take off our shoes and let's go into this old hall. You can see the Ayutthaya style gate. And then more of the little deities and stuff over there. And you can see just a little bit of it. So you see the styling above the windows. And you see how it's bowed in the middle like a boat. So the temple building here would have been built in the late Ayutthaya style. I'm not sure the year, they don't really know a whole lot about this temple. But I really like the building itself. You just can't see it very well because of all these streamers and stuff. But it is the ordination hall. You can see the where they had the Buasimas. Okay, this one right here is the front porch. You can see the styling up there with the red teak wood and like the lotuses on the top of those columns. And this is in really excellent shape here. Has the little pieces of glass, has the naga, everything on it. And it has the three doors. This would have been the door for the royals. And we'll go inside. So here's all the donations that you can make for the, the monk robes and stuff. And then they've redid these murals. These are all modern murals inside this old hall. Here's the Buddha with the shrines all around. It has the red teak wood. Yeah, I really like the Ayutthaya style buildings. You can see these murals have been done pretty recent. The lower panels are kind of falling off. And the name of the temple is the, the landing of the crying crow. So they have a crow right there and right here. And you can see that what happens is the groundwater comes up and it comes up through the ground into the wall and it causes all this plaster to slough off and the murals to fade. So the bricks are just exposed right there. You can see the painting on the back wall. Yeah, this building itself is the best part of this whole temple. And the Buddha right there is in the subduing Mara posture. It's kind of an elongated face. It's not the early Ayutthaya style. It's more of a, probably a later Ayutthaya style, I would say. The eyes are downcast and it has the small little hair rolls. Yeah, pretty nice. Hair. And you can see the styling over the windows here. The Buasima stones, all the old monks. And there's quite a few buildings at this temple. Like over here, here's another little building with all kinds of images. Some of the old monks, some of the Buddha statues. They got statue of King Rama 9 over here. And this little building is kind of cool. 
they have a Buddha image there. Another one over here. You can see they've covered the top of it. But it has kind of the lotus bud arches. This might have been the original bell tower. So you have all the old Thai kings, Rama V, King Taksin, Ram Kim Hang, you have Rama 9. Some more stuff for Rama 9. King Taksin in there. All right, so let's go walk a little bit more and then we'll call it good. You see another one of these chetties. You can see the rain is really coming down. So the awnings are quite nice right now with the uh, rain. And they got the place here to stick the gold leaf on and stuff. Yeah, this is outside that wall of that old ordination hall. You can just see there's just so much stuff going on. And here's another little shrine building. We got the Buddha with the Naga. So we'll stick our head in here. That rain is quite loud on that tin roof. You can just see there's just all kinds of stuff going on. So you can get these little streamers and hang them up here, make a donation to the temple. And then more of the little statues and stuff. And more donations. Buy the candles, the joe sticks. And it just kind of winds all around in here. It's just a big, big area with so many little buildings and so many shrines. Days of the week, Buddhas, more of these little things. Things to attract the kids here. And it's a toad strangler. Look at that water boy. I'm not sure what these little wicker figures are about. If they're supposed to be like old farmers or, or what, or old soldiers. And then you got the masks. Lots and lots of stuff. They got like a crow thing here. And that rain is just hammering down. You got the cows. Looks like they have the Aikai statue over here. A place to sit. There's nobody going over here. It's kind of flooding out. They have the Roku. That's the giant that ate the moon. And then you can buy these black flowers here and hang right there at the bottom of it to make a donation. Another little skeleton to make the donation to. Photo place here with the tuk tuk. Amulets. More donations. Another little shrine with more donations. So you can see, you get kind of the feel of this. It's all water's pouring in. Another little building over here with more places to donate. Well, that'll finish up our video over here. It's raining hard. I'm going to uh, hang out here for a little bit, wait for it to stop, and then uh, head on back home. It's nice that I stopped over here while it was raining underneath these awnings and inside these buildings and stuff like that. It's uh, not a good day when you're out caught in the rain on a motorcycle, but it is what it is. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video over here at this Wat Ta Ka Rong floating market and the Wat Ka Ta Rong temple, then uh, smash the like button. If uh, you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around, and then you're notified when I post a new video. And if you've been here, if you have any questions about how to get over here or what to expect, ask me in a comment down below. Or if you've been here, let me know. Also tell me what you think about it. And until next time, from over here in Ayutthaya, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.